Hey, ¿qué tal Miami? Fantástico, nos divertimos mucho. Genial, ¿quién ganó? Tu favorito, Max Verstappen. Ah, oh, me encanta Max Verstappen. Sí. Uh, uh, bueno, uh, ¿qué tal el fin de? Fui a la playa, mm. hice surf, mm. fue la bomba. Ah, clásico. Sí. ¿De qué hablamos hoy? Uh, yo no sé. ¿Muerte animal? Ah, una vaca muerta. Oh, oh, oh me gusta. Sí. Uh, ¿Sabías que cuando las matan hacen oh? ¿Es oh un término médico? Sí. Oh. Las vacas hacen cuero, ¿verdad? Sí. Cuero, uh, botas, chaquetas... Guantes. Guantes dick, dick in your, your mouth, mouth, bitch. I, I got I, you. No, 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 I got no, you fair and square. No, that was no. it. No, I got yo. you. No, no. Yo. yo. No, know. yo got I you. Yo. yo got you. Cha cha. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the TMP Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website, tmpstudios.tv. Sign up for a membership now at tmpstudios.tv. Holy fuck, Jamie! Can we get a clip of that deer him? Get him by that car? Let's live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, oh, stay as fuck. I'm trying to get my arse eaten. The so-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt. And get ready for the base. Yo, guess what? Buff Me, aka Ike, has a video up on the TMG Studios app right now answering some of your fitness questions. So if you want to tap in, no, it's not if you, you do. Go watch it right now. It's in the app. What are you waiting for? In fact, here's a little snippet before we get into the episode. Yeah, yeah, good idea. I'm Mr. Muscle Beach, six foot nine. I'm one of the biggest guys in the world. Play, fuck, marry, kill. Powerlifting, bodybuilding, and crossfit. Don't even eat the bar, just eat the wrapper. <laughs> Your dad is Chuck Norris? There's no way you can beat him. And then you get him. <laughs> That's on the studios tier. So go sign up if you want to see the rest of that. It's it's uh it's a banger. Yeah. All right. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I <laughs> went to the movie theater last night. Wow. Wow. And and I left. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you left and you did. At what point did you leave? Probably 30 minutes into the movie. What movie was it? Uh, I want to say this. I mean, it was it was uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. Yeah. And I didn't leave because the movie was bad. Sure. The movie was really good. It is really good. But I mean, I just I just was not having fun. You're... I was. I don't like the theater. Okay. I don't. I don't like it. I'm just gonna respect that. I That's just I don't like watching a movie beside people I don't fucking know. Why do people enjoy this? Why did I used to enjoy it? Dude, I had this moment like 20 minutes in where I'm like, I'm not having any fun. All I want to do is leave. COVID ruined you. I guess. I don't know. It's it, the theater. Okay. First of all, it's a fair thing. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Appreciate that. I'll definitely say that. I think... It's it's where the film is intended to be watched. No, I couldn't hear the speakers suck, dude. Well, what, I don't know what, if this AMC I went to was just old as shit. Which one did but you this, go to? The fucking well, I'm not gonna say it because it's in my neighborhood. But oh, got it. Um, okay. 
it, yeah, the that speakers is, that is, like uh, I couldn't hear. That is and like the, there's so much dialogue in that movie. There is and subtitles and they're switching languages yeah. and stuff. So you really have to like listen yeah. and pay attention. Yeah. And I just like this. I I kept thinking like, dude, if this was at home, like, I have I have like a shitty little sound bar, but I was like, this would definitely sound better on that. And I could, That's, like, that movie is also not simple to like understand. Mm. So I'm just sitting there and I'm like, I can't hear half the things they're saying. I don't get it. I'm having That's a fair. bad time. This popcorn tastes like ass. Yeah, okay. No, that's not true. That's not true. Yeah, yeah. I was I was about to say, hmm, we're going to run that part back. The popcorn was delicious. You know it's good. But I got this chicken sandwich that sucked. See, but the, yeah, but, that. The, but the fries. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Sheesh. Okay. All right. And the pizza. Sheesh. Now, you see why that guy walked back with a box of it yep. in the middle of the Batman. Yep. Yep. Because he was you. He was like. I can't fucking hear what's going on. <laughs> this movie's so long and complicated. I'm going to go get a fucking pizza. But that's when, once the food was over, then I was like, oh, man. Now I got nothing. Now, to, like, now I got to watch the movie. Exactly. It's like, no, <laughs> nothing here is fun anymore. And then I started looking around, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know a single person here. Yeah. Why the fuck is this so intimate? We're all enjoying this piece of media so together. LA. I was like, I want to know. I want to be friends with you guys. You're so hey, L.A., dude. No one's even here right now. I'm watching this movie. There I wasn't, look around. I, I, I look around. Single, there wasn't a single celebrity in that fucking Yeah. Movie. We, we couldn't even get a D-lister in there, dude. Yeah. This is whack. Yeah. No one's here. Fucking chuck a reality star in there or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's, that's so Canadian to be like, hey, at least want to know who I'm watching the movie I with. I do. Hey. Share some snacks, maybe. What do you got? Milk does down there? Can I get one? Always socialize. I can't ask a random person that. You can't. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I wasn't having fun. But I, I will say the movie up until 30 minutes, yeah. you know, that part was really good. So yeah. go see it. <laughs> I'm going to wait till it comes out on iTunes and then I'm going to watch it at home. I just can't wait for the comments to eat you alive. For what? This fucking asshole goes to a movie theater always thinking about is socializing and who's there. That's why he doesn't even like the movie. Because he doesn't even, he doesn't, he's not paying attention to what's going on. Yeah, okay, you're right. The comments will say that, but that's not what I'm fucking saying. I know, I know, but I'm just misconstruing it. <laughs> oh, oh, here Cody goes again, oh, dude. Mr. L.A. Dude, who even scans the audience in a movie theater? Like, worry <laughs> about yourself. God, bro. All you do maybe is pay you, attention to other people. Yeah. Maybe if you weren't dick riding Elon so hard all the time. Yeah, maybe you'd fucking learn how to just not be thinking about celebrities and shit, dude. <laughs> God, were you looking at what they drove to the theater too? <laughs> you fucking judgmental asshole. You're not the same. Who are you even anymore? Can I say something real quick? Yeah. St. Louis, I'm doing stand-up this weekend. Oh Go buy God. a ticket. <laughs> I thought you meant like to me. I don't know. I want to say a lot of stuff to you. Okay, okay. We got like an hour and 45 minutes. We're going to say plenty. But, okay, that's true. But St. Louis, I'm coming out there this weekend. Buy a ticket to the show. Let me try new stuff. All right. Um, can, I get a, can I do a plug? Go ahead. Um, plug. Check me out on YouTube. <laughs> plug, plug my St. Louis show real quick. Oh, St. Louis. Noel is doing stand-up <laughs> this weekend. Go on noelmillerlive.com for tickets. <laughs> uh, you know the funniest thing about comedy club ticket purchasers? What? <laughs> they are the most last-minute people. Oh, really? Yeah. It's the, it's the funniest thing. That's why I have to keep talking about it. I'll get messages that are like, "Yo, dude, uh, I think you're you're, I think you're coming to town this Friday." I'm like, "You know that because I've posted about it a million times." And then people will be like, "I'm thinking about going." <laughs> That's it. I'm like, what do you want me? You want me to just respond back? Like, dude, come, <laughs> please. Yeah, come to the show, please. It's it'll be like. Like 48 hours prior, and some of the shows it'll be like, oh, maybe it's not going to fill up. And then on the day, oh, dude, we got people like people show up to buy the ticket, and they're like, wait, it's sold out. Oh, really? They wait to the last minute. What do you mean they show up? They go to the fucking they go to the window. club. They go to the window without tickets, dude. What are you insane? Yeah, dude, it's who do that? It is psycho behavior. It'll be I like, bought my fucking movie tickets beforehand. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be like groups of six, and they'll be like, wait, there's nothing left. So do you think there's just infinity seats in there? <laughs> Was it fucking 95? Yeah. You know, buy tickets at the yeah. fucking will co Like, yeah. walk up to, two tickets, please. Dude, straight up. And then and then the best part is, I'll get people straight up mad at me. Yo, dude, I went to the 
to the window to buy a ticket. <laughs> you should go to a bigger place next time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should book a theater because you don't want to buy a ticket <laughs> seven days prior. You want to be able to just walk up and get it. So, yeah, that's anyway. Um, yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, just go buy a damn ticket. Um, Miami. Ah, si. Como estas? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How was it? It was uh it was amazing. Shout out to Red Bull. Shout out to uh, Brody Yukin. It's my contact there. Cool guy. Fuck yeah. Yeah. We love Red Bull. Yeah. We love Red Bull. Did you did you have any meetings with them? No. Oh. What do you mean? I was just gonna ask if you met Brody. Uh we did, didn't we? Weren't we talking about like stuff that we could do together and everything? I don't think he was on the, that call. No? Who was that? Uh, Brody Yukin. Brody Yukin licked this dick. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? Did you really just... I'm sorry. I had to get you the real one. A non-scripted. <laughs> Gee, that one was so good. I didn't, didn't even... I still haven't fully processed it. That... Brody Yukin is not a real person. No. <laughs> I just watched your soul leave your body. You just wait. <laughs> You're having an outer body experience right now. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I saw. I, Why? I saw someone's last name this weekend was Yukin, and I couldn't <laughs> believe. I'm like, you walk around with that last name Yukin, and then I'm like, I have to get Cody with this dude. I'm like, how could I? What's up, Brody? Brody, <laughs> Brody Yukin. So go use that one, guys. Brody Yukin. He's a Red Bull athlete. Damn. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, was any of it real? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! I'm giving you the silent treatment. <laughs> <laughs> On a podcast? Not a just podcast. Yeah, just, no, no, it's fine. No, dude, it's cool. Hmm? What, you call me fucking orange? <laughs> and it's Brody yeah, Yukins. That was another thing. I don't know if we're gonna put that clip in, but like before we even started. We sat down and he was like, you look orange. Okay, tal in Miami? I can't look at you, man. <laughs> I can't look at you. Hey, Why the fuck are you so orange? Did you get a tan? What? I'm orange? <laughs> you look more orange than usual. What? Did you get a tan? I mean, I was out in the sun all weekend. You look a little orange. Fuck you, bro. I I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's just fucking me up. Fuck. <laughs> it's just I'm like all stoked for the sketch we're about to do, and then I just you just... I just no, catch a stray like that? What the no, fuck is that? Your fucking voice, it like worked. Like it <laughs> fucked me up. What? Like you look like you're like. <laughs> I really felt like I just ran into a dude in Miami. Like that's <laughs> fucking. <laughs> so I can't look at you. <laughs> you look like we're at the split second of dude outside of the club this weekend. Hey, que tal Miami? <laughs> what the fuck happened to Cody? <laughs> I mean, you're glistening, man. I'm like a little tanned. I was in the sun all Your week. face looks vitamin C rich. Yeah, you could have said that. You could have said healthy. Yeah, yeah. You you're glowing. It always takes me a minute. You know? Orange? I have a I have a low IQ. I have to, you know, process things very like pragmatically. Cody look orange. <laughs> and then I have to think about what I said and then make it normal. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, SeatGeek. Summer concerts are here, and that means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code TMG. If you didn't know already, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. All right, we've got the apps on our phones. Um, it's by far, in a way, the best way to buy tickets. Why don't you show them what you're looking at right now? Harry Styles. Harry S. Olivia Rodrigo. The Stray Kids. Justin Bieber. Yeah, see? There's so, so much. Um, Ali Rodrigo is actually coming to L.A. Really? Yes. And baseball is back, too. It is. Very exciting stuff. Wow. Yeah. 
Listen, SeatGeek wants to make sure uh, you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good. Uh, red means bad, of course. Bad. And if you're worried about getting you know, gypped on the price, don't worry because we've got the hookup, all right? TMG is giving you $20 off your first set of tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with our promo code TMG. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app and get you some tickets with a discount. There's a, there's a, man, I was thinking about one this weekend. There's a place in Malibu called Howdy's. It's like oh. the most obvious one ever. Bruh. How have you not used that? I know, right? Damn. Howdy's. Ladies and gentlemen, you have two new ones today. Brody Yukin and Howdy's. Yeah. Howdy's in Malibu. Yep. Um, but yeah, so the race was, it was cool. Uh, just a, just an absolutely star studded weekend. Was it? Yeah. Celebs? Yeah. Wait, what kind of celebs did you see? A whole lot of celebs. No way. Which ones? <laughs> Dare I say. Um, well, first of all, big thank you to Red Bull. Um, they showed us maximum love this weekend. They, uh, cra- crazy ass experience. They rented out a hotel in Miami. Um, they, we got police escorts to and from the track. It That's was sick. wild. Damn. I've never felt so fucking taken care of it was crazy um the first day i went to the practices and uh unbeknownst to me i was walking around with i believe it's bad bunny's manager no way yeah that's pretty cool yeah um dude you're so miami <clears throat> yeah i'm so Miami. you're so miami yeah yeah i was just with bad bunny's manager miami, yeah 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 had a, you know had dinner with maluma <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, Maluma, we uh, we were texting each other. Maluma, I feel like it's a good one. Yeah. Well, he's a Maluma something. Nah, you know. He's just a We'll yeah. work on it. No, Maluma is a icon. Yeah. I'm That's saying his name is a good No, like, I know. Be, okay, okay. His 31 million monthly Spotify <laughs> listeners are like, "Don't you fucking dare." And <laughs> don't you dare. Don't you dare, man. <laughs> don't do it to him. So Bad Bunny's manager. Yeah, so the and, on- did, was he saying anything? Um Hey, we they didn't formally introduce us. Okay. So we were just kind of like there. It was a bit weird. Okay. He like so it was weird in that uh uh we were together but we weren't hanging out. Cuz they we were kind of just doing little events together. Anyway, so on the practice day, I actually got to go like into the paddock and I like stood in the Red Bull garage. Garage, excuse me. Nice. And uh, I got to like see the cars, like Max and Checo were just like right there. Um, it was pretty surreal. Damn. And then, <clears throat> so that was dope. Uh, got a bunch of different views of the cars and stuff. It, they are so like, from home, it's easy for sometimes a race to be like uninteresting because like you're just watching the camera angle switch. But like when you're there, you can have just a seat on a turn and not really know what's happening. But that fucking seven-year-old part of your brain is just like, Oh yeah! Oh, here they come! Here they come! It's just sick atmosphere. Was the race good? Like it, it was okay. Uh, the The problem is the track is brand new. Yeah, and it's like a temporary track. Okay, so that like saying too much. Uh, basically, race tracks when cars race on them over time, like they put rubber down. Yeah, and then that just makes it sticky, and it enables them to race more aggressively, and. It's like the asphalt was fresh. So on the first and second practice, like four cars like bend it because they just can't grip the ground. Mm. So on the race day, th- there was some there were some moments like Lando, uh glad that dude's okay. He had a crash like towards the end. Damn. Um it was it was like kind of just didn't need to happen. But uh they can't really overtake each other. So there are moments where they tried, but other than that, like as soon as they get off the racing line, they just lose the car. So the, the race is all right. I will say when you're there, the race can suck ass, but it just feels good. Yeah. Cause you're just hearing the cars like go around. The most interesting part is two things. <laughs> One for some of the like special exclusive areas, it was like the inverse fire fest. It was hilarious. How, how so? <clears throat> so at Fire Festival, the rich people made away with all the money. Okay. And the regular people had a shitty time. Okay. The regular people had an amazing time. Okay. And the rich people in some places had an extremely shitty time. Why? So there was one area 
that was on the start finish line and the booths were not set up properly. So these people had had seats that were legitimately 18,000 a seat <laughs> and they either had to sit out on a balcony and watch the cars go by, but they had no commentary. They had like, there's no speaker in there, like giving them a sense of, there's no TV. Okay. So you're either sitting there just watching the cars go. With, Without any idea of what's actually happening. Yeah. Or you sit inside like an air conditioned room with a TV at just like a lunch table. So it's like, you're basically at home or you're out just watching cars. And so here's the funniest part is where those $18,000 seats were. Above them was a gigantic LED monitor that the regular tickets could see. <laughs> okay. So, so they're just watching this gigantic screen. They have all the commentary blaring at them. They know what's happening. They're like, look, 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 And then the cars go by and they're screaming. And then it's just people with loads of money watching everyone else have fun. <laughs> there was another area where they set it up and the, the, uh, blue, the floor plan was like a square. And I think they picked a the part of the track where you could kind of see like, you know, a a wide like angle of what was going on. These motherfuckers had to stand on their chairs because the the seats weren't elevated. So they were just blocked. And like I think those seats were like eight thousand a piece. Damn. Yeah. And then I think there were a bunch of sponsors that bought and set up those things to like invite people out to network and, you know, client relationship stuff. And I guess a lot of those people walked away like fuck Formula One. Like they're like livid. Wow. In the, in that area, kind of a dope move actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, in that area, they had a fire festival bathroom where it was just like one bathroom, and I'm not exaggerating, like 200 rich people, all having to take a shit, just <laughs> upset, <laughs> just cocaine shits. Yeah, too. yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> straight up, just diarrhea. Yeah, all they're over like, the yo, place. dude, dude, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> huh. We're all in the same position, man. Dude, it's just it's so Come hot. On, can I go in front of you? <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> um, and then they didn't have water on Friday in some areas. Like hell yeah, yeah. So you know the the karma for Hardcore. Fire Festival was partially reaped on that front. Do you guys like party? Did you go out to any restaurants or anything? Um, so because Red Bull rented out that hotel, just all the restaurants were just paid. The whole hotel was Red Bull people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, That's the, pretty sick. Yeah, it was crazy. It was dope. Um, the Faena Hotel. Faena? Yeah. Oh, no. No, no, it's not. <laughs> or Faena, depending on how you pronounce it. Faena, no, it's, it's a real place. And yeah, yeah, so there were like, everyone talks about LA being a GTA server. Miami is a GTA Oh, server. yeah, 100%. It's a, it's, a, it's a joke. Vice City. Yeah, no, but it's, it's like Lambo, Ferrari, G-Wagon, Lambo, yeah. Lambo, and everyone there is just dressed in custom naked outfits. Yeah. I never seen so many comfortable naked people in my life. <laughs> you know, probably because I haven't been to Coachella, but the amount of see-through dresses, it would, it felt I felt like I wasn't supposed to be there. Yeah. Um so that was cool. Uh Jeff cut my hair. Oh yeah. I <laughs> saw that. Mr. Wittick. Nice. Yeah. How was that? It was fine. I mean, he uh uh he's good. I had a lot of messages that were like, I personally prefer if my barber wears his shirt. <laughs> I'm like, calm down, bro. <laughs> like, if you we're in hot, fucking Miami, all yeah, right? Dude. Yeah, I, you know, if anything, I was doing too much by wearing a shirt. Yeah, exactly. You know, I should have been getting my haircut butt ass naked. <laughs> it's, it's so humid there. Yeah, it's, it's 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 you know whatever. So here's the most interesting part of the weekend <laughs> is that everyone found out that Lewis has a Prince Albert. What? Yeah. Yeah. How did they find out? So there's this thing going on where I, I don't trust anything that you're saying. Not it's it's for real. It's true. What? Yeah. So how the fuck did they like see like an imprint of no, it in his pants or bro, something? Bro, like when a girl has a nipple piercing. Yeah. You know. And there's just like a. Yeah, you see a little barbell. Yo, dude, what's up with that fucking uh, BB? Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what's up with that BB? <laughs> pellet just in your pants bro <laughs> hey yo you have something in your pocket <laughs> dude there's a bee on your dick yeah <laughs> race engineer uh lewis you've got something in, in your pocket excuse me he's like yeah. what and he just reaches in he's like what's that, <laughs> what is that? what's that then <laughs> what's that then <laughs> that's my penis bono oh right excuse me <laughs> so the fia is doing this thing about jewelry they don't want drivers wearing jewelry <clears throat> that's a controversial thing because 
it seems pretty targeted at Lewis. Okay. You know, because they're Cause kind of, what does he like? Does he get iced out before he drives? Um, I mean, he, he just wears earrings and all, all the drivers have stuff, yeah. but like they're specifically telling him like, yo, like your nose piercing has to come out. Weird shit. And why? Yeah. And people are sort of like saying like, why does Lewis have to ditch these piercings? But like in the rules, like, you know, they don't enforce like wedding rings and stuff. Okay. So it's like, okay, the wedding rings are jewelry, but like, you're not going to, whatever. I haven't followed it too closely, but, um, so I don't want to like misrepresent anything, but it doesn't even matter. Because Lewis comes out and says the most Lewis shit ever. He goes, yeah, well, I've got two piercings that I can't remove and one of them I can't really talk about. <laughs> Which just, you know, every every Lewis fan was like, oh, oh. <laughs> are they though? Like, is that, what do you mean? Is that attractive? Uh, Well, I mean. I, I, I don't know. I'm honestly, um, that's I a serious question. I mentioned this to one woman this weekend and she was like, damn, I heard those feel good as fuck. <laughs> So, you know, and then, but then, yes. but it goes one step further before you process. Then he goes, but it's platinum and it's never been an issue. I've done tons of MRI scans and stuff and it, it's never been a problem. Okay. But the fact that he had to, and it's platinum. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty Lewis thing to say, too. Yeah. Yeah. You would have a platinum dick piercing, bro. <laughs> platinum Prince Albert, man. If you couldn't, like. Wait, wait, but we don't know if it's on his dick, you know? He said, I can't really talk about it. Sure. That could be anything. Yeah. He could have a fucking taint piercing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't you think? A nutsack piercing, if they even do yeah. those. I don't even know if they do those. Oh. I mean, that's fucking crazy. It is. I mean, I had to make the dumbest joke ever because the issue that they're dealing with this weekend or this year is the cars do this thing called porpoising where they bounce. Yeah. And like the cars sit, like they sit like this in yeah. there. And I just <laughs> imagine Lewis and they're just. <laughs> and that car the whole time was like, oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Wait, what? He's just, he's just Wait, making that car orgasm. <laughs> it's just shaking the whole time. With his Prince Albert. Yeah, he's just in there just <laughs> fucking the shit out of that car. <laughs> they get in there and the car is like, it's fucking front eyes are just rolling up. It's like, enough. <laughs> I can't go any faster. <laughs> and he's like, she can't keep up, mate. I don't know what's going on. She's too slow. <laughs> I'm still hung up on like why you would even get one. Like, yeah. is it because it feels good for the woman, or is it because it's a, is it like an aesthetic thing? You take off your pants and they're like, damn. You know, like you have to be like, you have to. I feel like you have to be really bored mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah. Before you get piercings like everywhere else. Yeah. I read a, a really interesting uh, Reddit like true off my chest, and it was a. Uh, this dude is basically like, I have a small dick, but I, I'm getting a Prince Albert because it, it makes me feel better about having a small dick. And then his reasoning was, my dick might be small, but when I pull it out and I have a Prince Albert, it's like, whoa, damn. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. like, holy, yeah, you're insane. Yeah. And um, a lot of people were like, I think there's other ways to feel powerful, dude. <laughs> <laughs> But it is, a, I don't know. <laughs> like, no, I'm going to ice out my cock. Yeah. It's going to be platinum. Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, it is. It would probably elicit that sort of, like, response. from Yeah. People. Like, holy fuck. Yeah. Damn, it's small, but there's something else I don't know about you. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly, you know, there's something going on. Maybe you can fuck real good or something. Uh, I mean... Based on the one person I told about Lewis, apparently it feels good. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Legend. Yeah. <laughs> honestly. Can you, can you imagine? Kind of shit? a legend. Like, I appreciate, like, psycho shit like that. Yeah. That dude wakes up. Because he, here's the thing. He's, you could say he's bored. Because yeah. he's ticked all the boxes. Yeah. I've made a hundred bajillion dollars, no taxes. Yeah. I've driven some of the fastest race cars in human history. Yeah. And uh I'm a I'm a fashion icon. You know what? I'm gonna put a I'm fucking my dick. I'm gonna put a bullet in my cock. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else left to do. I'm gonna pierce my dick. That shit must be so he must get he must feel like the man. Yeah. When he just he just fucking turns around. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> some girl's like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm about to sleep with Lewis Hamilton. And he turns around and he has a fucking a 227 shell hanging off his dick. He's like, what's up? It's like, oh wow. <laughs> it's like the, oh it's wow. It's like the fuck boy. It's like a little cross. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Hanging yeah, out yeah, of the tip of his, cross. yeah. <laughs> dangling out the tip of his dick. She's like, are you going to take that out? <laughs> I don't want that getting lost in there. <laughs> it won't get lost, mate. It's platinum. <laughs> <laughs> then he just hits a switch on it and just starts vibrating. <laughs> Whoa. Crazy, man. Damn. So yeah, out of all the racing this weekend, that's the that's the coolest thing we yeah, found out. Yeah. This motherfucker is a Prince Albert. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Honey. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Mm. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Now imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites, and when you check out, the Honey button appears, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. You wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you will watch the prices drop. Listen, Honey has saved me so much money. I had a lazy weekend and ordered everything online. Honey helped me save money on my purchases. Ooh. <laughs> on my purchases. Yeah. That's those lazy ones that you made? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on all my purchases. Yeah. The things I purchased. Yeah. Of course. Honey doesn't work on uh, just a desktop, all right? It works on your iPhone, too. Just activate it on Safari and on your phone. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. Oh, Look, if you already don't have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and you support the show. Uh, so get Honey for free right now at joinhoney.com slash TMG. That's joinhoney.com slash TMG. What about those like fake water? Like the harbor that was all fake? Yeah. Was that weird? I didn't go to that area. Okay. Uh, that's the that's the other thing is F1 is not, it's not a sporting event. It's not like right. you park and go somewhere. It's... It's, it's not like baseball where you're going to sit in the sun and people bring hot dogs. It's, it's a fucking festival. You park really far away. You walk a really long whatever to get to your seat and then you just bake. Yeah. But when it when it's on, it's it's good. But yeah, so that area was like they put in yachts on fake water and just sold those tickets. Reddit couldn't handle that. Yeah. They're like, Who's, who is paying for these tickets? <laughs> like, Rich people. Yeah, they don't care, man. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care it was so funny they couldn't handle <laughs> they could not handle it yeah. like the sheer like what is going on it's like the the people that own oil yeah. they don't care yeah they uh they don't, they've never heard of reddit yeah ever yeah and they'll never hear of it <laughs> they'll never know that reddit exists so i have to one last thing and i'll shut the fuck up about it it was a, it was a great weekend but um the funny one another funny thing <clears throat> is so Mercedes has been struggling, right? And uh, Lewis's teammate is this younger guy. He's been out qualifying him the past few races. And so I heard like a rumor that Lewis was out at, like really late on Thursday night before the Friday practice. Okay. And <laughs> doing you know, what? I I don't know. Okay. Like I just I just heard like a something of like yeah he was out till like four or five a.m. or something. <laughs> and so <laughs> yeah. You know, and, the, and Putting so that thing to good use. And Friday was the hottest day. <laughs> yeah, Friday was the hottest day, and and uh, he his lap times were slower than George. Okay. And all these comments on Reddit were like, Lewis, "Lewis is a fraud, dude. He's not the greatest man. He sucks." They're just saying all this shit. <laughs> and I didn't know he's got a fucking dick piercing, dude. Dude, <laughs> he's the best. That was like a headline, and they're getting all hung up on like the FIA and the rules and how it's not a witch. Like they're just arguing about the dumbest shit. And then he goes and he puts in these kind of mediocre times, and it's not looking good for him. And I heard that he was out late afterward. I was like, so then on the qualifying day, he out qualified his teammate by like a lot. Okay. And I'm like, oh, oh, he was fucking. <laughs> like yeah. that's why his lap times were ass. Yeah. And then it just la it made me laugh more because. The information is right in front of these dudes. This guy's in Miami with the dick piercing. He's the man. Do you think he, he's like 10, 15 years into his career? Do you think he's a fuck about Friday practice? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's lost it, man. Yeah, dude. He's not he, the same Lewis as he was before. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. Go to his hotel room the night before. He's, <laughs> oh, the, he's same, the same Lewis. He's the same Lewis, man. He's the same Lewis. 
<laughs> go to the club he was at on Thursday <laughs> night, and that whole room was like, dude, you can fuck my wife. Like that, he's fine. He's definitely the same guy. It's so funny to me. Like they're like, I mean, he, 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 shut off, man. You have no idea what it's like to be that dude. You could only wish. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a Lewis Stan. What can I say? I am too now. Oh, I want to be that guy. Yeah, yeah sir. I don't. I have no All shame in it. Max for stacking before, but yeah, that's why they. That's why these guys love Max so much. Because he's just like a normal dude. He's just like a nerd. Yeah. He like he's like true, you know, race car driver. Like we've had enough of this cool guy. <laughs> we need someone more like us, someone who rages on the radio. Yeah, you know. But yeah, he won. Wow. Yeah, can- Max did or Lewis? Max. Nice. Yeah, Mercedes. Let's go Max. Yeah, Let's go Max. Yeah, that that wasn't. Let's go Max. That wasn't a joke. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Your favorite. My fave. Max for step. Um, well, that's good. I watched the fights this weekend. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On my phone. <laughs> yeah, I was. Not, yeah, me too. Me <laughs> Did too. you? Yeah, yeah. It was a max. I mean, I watched the Canelo. Game. Yeah. Oh, you what? watched Canelo lose? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was awesome. Honestly, crazy. Yeah, he got touched up. I didn't. I didn't watch the actual fight. So he looked bad. Oh yeah. I mean, he didn't look bad, but um, what's his name? Bavilo or Bipo? Bivol. 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 I don't know. Something like that. He was way better. Just looked way better. Yeah. Was completely just yeah. piecing him up like. Giving it to him. Yeah, it was great. Um, it was just cool to see. I don't know. Interesting. Is that Canelo's first loss? Uh, no, he lost to Floyd. Oh, that's right. How could I? Um, and then I watched the UFC, the main card. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. It was pretty good. I was I was there. I, 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 I just have to. I called it. Did you? I, call, I mean. What'd you say? We were watching it, and it, I was like, I'm like, it's going to go one of two ways. It's either going to end brutal or it's going to be long. Yeah. Uh, and so I was like, but the thing about Charles is he's still dangerous even on 1% battery. So even if you think you've murdered him, he's still a problem. Yeah. I mean, that's how he won last time, right? That's he how he keeps lost. winning. He keeps like, and it makes you wonder. Yeah. Does he, I mean, he's getting hit. Yeah. But does he just fall back baiting it? Yeah. Hoping that they jump? Yeah. And that's what a lot of people thought. Like he's like, oh yeah, he's he's just trying to get Justin to because he knows Justin's crazy. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Justin was just going one hundred and ten percent. Yeah, <laughs> going a little bit too hard, trying to get him out of there. Yeah, I mean, that, that's Justin's style though. He's just he's just swinging, vicious, vicious losing dude. his balance because he's swinging. He looked like a kid, like in a fight. Yeah, sometimes like just yeah, yeah. He had that one like overhand that was like whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he like did a three sixty afterwards. Yeah. Ch- I mean. Chuck, the thing is that's scary about Charles is he's so damn long. Yeah. He can, like, kick as, as – like, he's dolls him. Like, yeah. he can just fucking – and so I think that was Justin trying to just get in there and not get hurt. But, yeah, when he got tapped, I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then some guy, the Rolex, showed up in this little bar area we were at. And he, he's like, wait, did Charles just win? Fuck, man. We had a parlay on that. <laughs> and then someone was like, yeah, Canelo lost too. He's like, <laughs> Canelo lost? <laughs> I'm ruined. Yeah. My wife is going to kill me. Yeah. And then I said something. And he just tuned me out because I think he was thinking about his losses. I was like, all right, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, fuck me. Um, Yeah. So did you did you watch the card start to finish? No. No, I didn't. I just watched the main fight. Where did you watch it on your phone? On the couch. Uh, what? On silent too. You know why? Because we were watching the all fucking ultimatum <laughs> on Netflix, <laughs> and I was like, oh I got my something. Goodness, I gotta. That show. I mean, it's like semi good. It's semi good. It's like you have it's, to I mean, admit. it's fucking bullshit, but it's like you have to admit it's good. Just trash. Oh, it's 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 awesome. But it's not good enough to only watch that. I yeah, pull something else, and I was like, "Oh, the fights are going on, perfect." Yeah, you know that is absurd, man. That is, I mean, whatever, you know, it's fine. Yeah, whatever. Fucking everything's going to shit, dude. Yeah, and then you markets had, crashing. Yeah. What I was gonna say, and then you had Batman on on the fridge. <laughs> and that was on my watch. Yeah, okay. Then you had, yeah. then you had the rip of uh, everything, everywhere, all at once, playing on your washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just yeah, like that's little, why I wasn't. I just like little pieces of media, just kind of going around the home. 
<laughs> yeah, as many screens to be on <laughs> at one time as possible. Yeah, the, the uh, I don't know what's up with the economy. It's fucked. Yeah, fill us it's in. Fucked. I know the feds they cut they raised rates, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean everything's crashing, but the best part is that the NFT market is crashing. Yeah, that is that just gives me. It's so nice. Last night, isn't it? Oh, dude, last you night. Just, there's nobody on Twitter saying probably probably nothing. Yeah, probably nothing. No, what, what's the fucking right phrase now. that they say? Yeah, GM. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, replying to just like circle jerking each other. Yeah, yeah, my apes worth it. It's probably nothing though. Yeah. They're now all- it is nothing. <laughs> Now they're on the phone with Coinbase and whatever other like, – no, now they're begging their bootleg hidden exchange to accept their Bitcoin yeah. so they can get it to Coinbase. Yeah, exactly. No, please, don't, please. Is there any way I can just like fast verify, dude? Like I, I, need, I, need, I need the money. I need the money. I need, I need it. I need it. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're joking about people's livelihood. Here. Ah, that's I what mean, they, they get for talking shit for how, like two years now. <laughs> That's that's what they get. All that <laughs> smug fucking oh dude, all these fucking stale idiots don't realize like the future is coming. <laughs> Web three is now. Like you're literally living in the past. Guess what, fucker? <laughs> Guess what? You had no idea what you were talking about. And now you're hurting like the rest of us. And by the way, you feel free to use this clip in the future. If it goes back up, who cares? Feel free to be like, you guys suck, you guys are wrong. Just let us enjoy this moment right here. Yeah, you're down and, now. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, I know, I own some NFTs. Yeah. And I had, you know, I had the I had the mutant ape too, yeah. but I fucking got out. In time? Yeah, I, I was a paper hands little bitch, right? That's fine. Because <laughs> you, know, you know what paper hands means? You get something. <laughs> <laughs> you get to have something. That's the definition of paper hand right there. Yeah. 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 Um, it's can a- we can we pull up like uh, yes any screenshots or anything? So this is great. NFT sales are tanking and down ninety two percent from their peak last year. Yeah. So like the floor on board apes alone dropped like fifty ETH or something like that. And and here's the thing, you know who has you know who has paper hands? All the people who set up these NFTs. Yeah. They're like you know they're the ones being like no dude don't be a paper hands little bitch. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna want to get in on this, but they're the ones that cashed out on day one. Yeah, they made sure. Yep, that's why they talk a big game. Anyways, go ahead. Um, any other interesting tidbits here? The nose uh, NFT sales peaked in September last year at a daily average of approximately two hundred twenty-five thousand, and have dropped to a daily average of just around nineteen thousand this week. Wow. So I mean, like this is happening across everything Mm -hmm. in the economy. Yeah. Every asset class is getting fucking crushed right now. Yeah. But NFTs probably the most. Like, you know, the, I keep hearing stories now. Yeah, this is this is one we already we already touched on this one, didn't we? I don't There was another one. It was like a Snoop Dogg one or something like that. What? Yeah. Oh, just all the NFTs. Another product. person has tried to resell a Snoop Dogg designed NFT that they bought for approximately $32,000. Uh they're trying to sell it for over 25 million bucks, but they've only received a top offer of just over $200. <laughs> hey guys, we want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients, and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable, and that's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh's newest menu includes Mediterranean recipes that are filled with fresh fruits and veggies, nuts, olive oil, (laughs) oh boy, and fiber-packed whole grains for nourishing balance. Um, HelloFresh's chefs really know how to diversify your dinner menu with seasonal spring recipes like sweet heat shrimp, tempura bowls, garden spinach ricotta ravioli, and one pot creamy lemon dill chicken soup. Don't forget to add items from the HelloFresh market like lemon ricotta pancakes or French macaroons to treat mom to some yummy Mother's Day goodies. That also sounds like... (laughs) Yeah. Why don't you tell them what you really love? Though? I love the Bebumbop. That's right. Go to HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat16 and use the code TinyMeat16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat16. Use the code TinyMeat16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Let's fucking go. 
Feels bad, doesn't it? Why does that give me so much joy? It's Be- horrible. Because these people were so like they gloated. They made they try to make everyone feel so bad. How, they go- like how could there be so much of a like disparity between reality and like trying to sell something for twenty five million dollars and getting a bid for two hundred? Yeah. That yeah. is crazy. Yeah. How have we allowed for this? The free market, oh, wow. man. Yeah, yeah. That's the free market. Or, or yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't know. It's also like government. It's not really free market. No. It's the government like pumping cash into the yeah. market. But I mean, yeah. I, it is the free market. But yeah. Free market. It's just fucking wild. The last two years have just. It's awesome. The, the reality distortion that we've all Reset. generated. Yeah. And now Reset. it's completely crash. Yeah. All, all, everyone's stock market gains. Reset. Yeah. Everyone getting fucking owned. It's awesome. I mean, <laughs> again, it's not really awesome. Like people's retirement accounts and stuff like that. But yeah. in terms of NFTs, <laughs> it's awesome. No, fuck it. Retirement accounts too. <laughs> Damn, dude. Cold. Burn it down. <laughs> and nothing matters. Pensions. Fuck all that. Fuck it. <laughs> no, no. I mean, like a recession is not a good thing. No, it's not. But actually, actually it might be a good thing at least for millennials like a chance to get into the market yeah like they haven't had a chance well they, they people won't. that are what they won't now what do you mean because millennials put it all into nfts <laughs> on this on the seventh bitcoin run they're like i missed it yeah nine years ago yeah i'm not i'm not gonna lo- miss i'm not gonna miss i missed it oh. <laughs> i'm just like my parents after the housing crash <laughs> Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Good. No, yeah, I yeah. just I know what you mean. Yeah. And I and I'm getting burned too. I bought a bunch of Bitcoin last week and yesterday it was down like ten percent. Nice. Sick. I'm sorry. So I know I'm getting burned. Yeah. But I mean it's nice for things to come back to earth a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. No, I mean every the that's the funny part about Miami is like every billboard. You know, I took a picture of one. God mode NFT. That's what it said. God mode NFT. God mode NFT. That was a billboard. Yeah, it was. What, it was what, a mobile billboard. Someone. What? What did it refer to? Some NFT project <laughs> that it just said God mode NFT. No website. No nothing. That's it. Sick. And eleven. You yeah, know, they have their yeah. own. That of course. That had me howling. I was on the bus to the track with the police escort because I'm a celebrity. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and so Miami. I just see this, it just says, join the club. And it's these goofy, like, pull it up. 11 NFT project. It's like E11, whatever the fuck. Uh, I can't spell 11. <laughs> Travis Scott did his first performance at okay. 11 this weekend. Nice. I could have gone. His first performance? His first one back. Since Astroworld? Yeah. He did it at 11? Yeah. Weird. And I could have gone. Why didn't you? I just didn't want to. Yeah. I felt Pontus? old in that moment. Yeah. This shout out to um uh, um uh, Zeb Powell, his snowboarder for Red Bull. He ni- nice guy. He had a few tickets. We were hanging with him and he's like, uh, I think I'm gonna go see Travis Scott later. I'm like, really? He's like, Yeah, he's at eleven, he's gonna he's gonna perform. He's like, I have a few seats, uh, I'll let you guys know. I was like, Oh, cool. I'm like, when's he supposed to go on? And then <laughs> Or I am. He says two a.m. Yeah. So I'm like, that's four a.m. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, but it was like a, it was like a little movie moment because he's about to get in this car, and this, one of the dudes he's rolling with is like, "We gotta go now." And he turns to me. He's like, "He's like, I got three. It was me, Alina, and uh, uh, Cowboy Kale, and, and his bro, and it was four of us. And Kale was nice. He was like, "Y'all should go, man." He's like, "I don't, I don't really like his music like that." And I'm like, "I just can't. I didn't want to stand in eleven. That phrase right there, non-fungible nightlight? Yeah. Oh, God. I didn't want to stand in 11 for two hours. Yeah. Three hours, actually, at that point. Yeah. I just, I can't do it, man. Man. Um, So, what's the deal with the NFT? Like, you own it, and then... Yeah, you can probably, you know... (laughs) Oh, my God. I'm just picturing someone getting a lap dance from one of the strippers in 11 and being like, I own one of the NFTs. (laughs) (laughs) I own one of the... This place. Yeah, this this place. (laughs) Dude, look at these. 
if that's not like this, the wackest looking, like just merch, just digital merch, what do you get? Um, you get to go to an exclusive NFT room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all dudes. Yeah. 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 It's all guys hanging out in there. <laughs> all crypto guys. Yeah. Yeah, we could be in here and network. Yeah. Have you heard of God Mode NFT, by the way? <laughs> yeah, Eleven is like definitely part of the future. They're carving out a space like for people who understand crypto. <laughs> yeah, it's probably nothing though, right? <laughs> There's a little room upstairs that we can all vibe in. Yeah. And then they're all standing there looking through a window. They're just that fucking <laughs> two other people getting lapped at. Yeah, dude. They're that Reddit they're that fucking 4chan meme. Yeah. You know, it's like they don't even know I own NFTs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like that's just exactly. they're creating that in real life. Yeah. So funny, man. Yeah, a bunch of, bunch of fucking crypto bros and like dudes with ponytails. What's your story, man? Well, I, I knew Bitcoin back in 2011 <laughs> had a lot of potential. So I started mining it very early and I heard about Eleven's project and I'm just very keen on it. So I thought I'd stop by. <laughs> Sicko mode is blasting in the background. Yeah. yeah. Travis is out there. Yeah. Looking, everyone's getting danced on, and then they're. Just I just got a crypto kitty. <laughs> yeah, no, I think a lot of the 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 roadmap looks really, really strong. Yeah, the the team is great. <laughs> Don't you open up the window? I I crypto cryptodes. They're they're the next one. Trust me. Nah, man, Doge is last year. Yeah, you got you got to get out of that shit, man. What's your name? What's your Instagram? Let me get you up to speed, man. I got a sick project coming out. Crypto cunts. I know it sounds offensive, but trust me, man. Yeah. This is the one. I'm just so fucking pumped that Elon is buying Twitter. I'm so stoked. Finally, free speech, right? Yeah, dude. It's just been such bullshit. It's people actually enjoying the content yeah, yeah, in the background. Yeah. <laughs> getting lap dances. Yeah, it's fucking, you know, honestly, like, people like us, dude, like, we kind of need to watch out for each other, you know? Like, Twitter's chill, but ever since they did that, like, you know, that NFT profile picture thing, yeah, it's just like I'm getting harassed all the time. Yeah. And it's just like, I am I just made good moves. Don't hate on me because you're a loser. <laughs> you know? It's like these people that don't have any inspiration to, like, get up and, like, fucking do something with themselves. I mean, that's why that's why I always say, man, you got to block out the haters. What's up? You're going to watch? Yeah, yeah, go watch the show. For sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Yeah, my net worth is down 92% this week. Yeah, I'm hanging on by a thread. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah, I know. I've had like nine drinks, so I, I, I'm fine with it right now. But tomorrow will be a different story. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really struggling. It's been a rough week. <laughs> Just fucking. Yeah, I fucking, I burned <laughs> all of my inheritance. <laughs> I'm I'm fucked, man. This is literally my last night out. Like I literally have to apply for jobs tomorrow. Tomorrow, but yeah, yeah. You know. Do you want to? Are you look? Are you in the market at all for a crypto kitty <laughs> or a doodle or an apes? I mean, I got like a ton of shit. If you're just let let me know if you would need something. Open up the window. <laughs> it's awesome. I, yeah, I love that I haven't seen a single crypto thing in fucking I don't know how long. I that's what I'm saying. I haven't seen a single GM on Twitter. A single probably nothing. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah, probably nothing. I hate that. Yeah. No, it's this is awesome. We should fucking uh yeah. Mark Cuban, crypto is going through the lull that the internet went through. Um I wonder when the housing market is gonna crash. Because yeah, it seems a like the prices question. are st- what? That's a great question. Yeah, with like it's it's like way more expensive now to buy a house. Yep. With yep. with interest rates, but the inventory is still super low, so the prices are still kind of high. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think with everything, I won't. I think real estate, in theory, shouldn't it just continue to be horrible? Because, um, besides the fact that Blackstone owns everything. Um, <laughs> isn't it that like when the the dollar loses value, don't rich people rush to put it into property and stuff? Uh, I don't know. I thought that's like the like investing, like like it's like an investing basics. Like 
I mean, I mean, like, it doesn't real estate isn't it supposed to like be kind of the same vein as like a bond or something, where it's like supposed it get it sort of is supposed to go up over time. One sec. What's your seed phrase, dude? Just real quick, while while you're doing that, what's your seed phrase? <laughs> it's um, just while you're focused on it's that. It's pony, um, hair, broom, Prince Albert. What's your what's your <laughs> seed what's your seed phrase, dude? Oh, yeah, um, a little boy takes daddy's money and invests it and gets completely fucked, <laughs> and life is different now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, grown man fucks off safety net and has to really figure it out. Hello, guys. We want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Credit Karma. Are you earning credit card rewards? Credit Karma can help you compare your rewards options so you can find a card that fits your lifestyle, helping you earn miles or cash back for spending you're going to do anyway. Credit Karma uses your credit profile to show you offers that are tailored to your financial situation. Credit Karma partners with a wide range of card issuers so you can be sure that you are exploring all sorts of options. And best of all, dude, Credit Karma uses your credit data to show you your chances of approval before you even apply, wow. helping you apply with more confidence. Nice. Uh, comparing cards on Credit Karma is 100% free and won't affect your credit scores. Credit Karma, create your own karma. Are you ready to find the card for you? Head to Credit Karma and check out your personalized mix of offers today. Go to creditkarma.com or the Credit Karma app and find the card for you. That's creditkarma.com. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But you know, buy the dip, guys. Buy the dip. Buy Get the in now. dip. That Get is financial advice. Now. You can live by that. Yeah. No, I'm I'm kidding. That satire, SEC, please leave me alone. But you know what's crazy is like at the same time mm -hmm. that this is happening, last week or the week before or whatever, um, Yuga Labs like did their other side thing and they generated like 300 million bucks or something. Yuga Labs. Yuga Lab. Do you like Yuga Labs by chance? Yes. Same. This wouldn't happen to be in the Oklo reactor zone, would it? <laughs> <laughs> what what's Yuga Labs? It's the company that owns Bored Apes. Oh, okay. So they did like they did another one of these things where they sold a bunch of like land. Mm. I don't really know the full thing. I'm I just am so happy not knowing about yeah. this. It really makes me happy. Yeah. But like everyone that owned a board ape got the chance to, you know, first dibs on buying the land and other side or whatever yeah, the fuck yeah. it is. And I think they on I think they raised three hundred million dollars. Yeah. That's that's sick. So it's still going on. It's just like it's, it's come back down to earth a little bit. It's sick. I mean, that, that's fucking preposterous, but you know. It's sick also that US tether is less worth less than a dollar now. Is it? Last night it was ninety five cents. Well, how does that make any sense? I don't know. Isn't it pegged to the dollar? That's what we thought. Oh. <sighs> Something's going on, man. The scam reveal itself. Yeah. Yes. New report says NFT buyers momentarily lost millions in USD on Yuga Labs, other side gaming initiative. Yeah, they did they did some shit where like um like so many people wanted this and were trying to buy it that the gas prices went fucking crazy. Interesting. And people were paying, yeah, fourteen thousand dollars in gas fees just to get this shit. So okay. Is it three hundred twenty million in play money, meaning like no, what like like meaning like the gains that were made from like ether like are they buying this shit with ether or yeah. are they buying it with cash with ETH? Okay, so play money. <laughs> um, interesting. I mean, does it, it makes you wonder, man? Because the last two years. When you look at like everyone's every big company's like marketing, you know, there's like this thin veil of like this is how you can spend your money better. Yeah, you know, it's all like everyone's trying to ruse people into like giving them their money. And now that because crypto was the number one thing that people pointed to to be like this can make my life better. Yeah. Now that this is taken away, and like you just don't know when it's coming back, you know. We have to, we have to figure out the next big scam. Basically, okay. the next financial whoever figures out the next financial instrument to give you hope, 
now is your time. Yeah. You thought it was going to take 10 years, but crypto has crashed now. So now's the time. Yeah. So whether that's, you know. It, I think it still is crypto. We just got to figure out what to do. With crypto? Yeah. yeah. Or maybe it's something not, maybe it's something different. I think that's the one thing I'm curious about is like now that the value is like dropping, yeah, Mark Cuban could be right. Is it a temporary thing? Probably. It probably is. Yeah. Probably going to eventually like it's going to come back. It's just nice this kind of period of yeah where people are like everyone that's so vocal about NFTs now are just Mass like beat. I didn't say I wasn't saying anything before. Yeah. yeah. Who said? Not me. Yeah. No, I've just been chilling. Yeah. You know? They're like, oh, you have a regular job? No, that's sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's awesome. Yeah. That's, no, that's cool. Yeah. Not no, I never said anything before no, about no. having a normal job. No. I think it's cool. I think it's really respectable. Oh, you work in an office? Yeah. There's something really classic about that. I like really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. I appreciate, you know, like just going in and working in a dedicated space with other people. It's for sure cool. Yeah. Are you guys hiring by chance? <laughs> um, Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a hard pivot out of this crypto talk <laughs> to talk about something else that's hard hitting. And that is, we have Rigo from Medieval Times. The guy, what, what knight did he play again? Green? The red and white. The red and white knight. Or, I don't know. Black, no, he's black. The black and white knight. Black and white knight, maybe. Either Anyways, way. he was performing when Noel was there last weekend or the weekend before. The man, the man. And uh and we got him on. We're gonna ask him some questions about medieval times and see if he smashes medieval pussy. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna throw real. the headphones that was, on. <laughs> that was so that was a lot. That was intense. I'm yeah. sorry about that. Do you think that's how they said it back then? What? You know, I I go smash medieval pussy. <laughs> They wouldn't call it medieval, but... Yeah, probably not. She doth have the greatest vagina <laughs> of the Middle Ages. Damn, that actually... Well, I think there's something to be said about the medieval period. Everyone had designer. I thought, yeah. I've, I realized that after our podcast episode. Yeah. Because, like, weren't, things weren't made in mass. Yeah. So you had to get custom everything. Yeah, that's true. So, like, the drip point. was probably immaculate. Immaculate, yeah. Form fitting, yeah, in all ways, yeah. Uh, <laughs> she doth have the tightest pussy in all the <laughs> land. Damn, bro. Do you think they were as caught up as us sexually? Or do you think they had all the techniques we have? Yeah, techniques. Yeah, or just like, like with toys, or maybe like depravity. You know, like, yeah, like spitting in each other's mouths and shit like that. Yeah, or like you know, two handed, or yeah. Yeah, I'm, that's a good question. <laughs> or was it really stale? Yeah, probably that. You think? Yeah, humans are not a lot of showers back then and stuff. You know, yeah, like, you smelled and it was like a lot of hair everywhere. Sex was probably dangerous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you could get taken out by gonorrhea. Yeah, like, for sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's already. Yeah, that's already like they get off on that risk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just even putting it in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're we'll, going to ask Rico we'll about, about this. <laughs> all right, gang. Thanks for joining us. Well, it's not goodbye. Yeah, sorry. Strap we'll in. see you in a second. We're about to get into it. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, people of all uh, genders, sexualities, identities, we have the magical, mythical sex icon himself. It's the one and only Rigo from Medieval Times. Everybody make some noise. Make some noise. Thank Ooh. you so much for joining us, dude. I can the, uh, I can hear you in the back not clapping, please, everyone. Everyone, everyone <laughs> please in the back. Of applause. This man Thank is a you. performer. You think he's just some guy from TikTok? This guy gets up in front of a crowd three times a day. Three times weekend. a day? We do do three shows uh, a day on weekends. And back in the day, we used to do them all the time, like five days a week, three shows a day. Wait, wait, what do, what do you mean back in the day? Oh, before how? COVID. Sorry. I oh, okay. I was like, how long? You've been doing this for like 20 years? <laughs> no, gosh. Uh, so... Uh, gosh, where do we start? So, well, well, uh, before you get into it, I just have to say I saw I saw you perform like a week ago, uh, and at first I was like, "Yo, th this dude is really giving it," and I was I was thinking that you're like the top dog out of all the nights. Now, don't you don't have to say yes or no, but I thought you were like the 
the the special one because you got a speaking role. I was like, oh, this guy. Oh, has so to I was, be okay. The yeah, one. I, I I watched a, a few of your episodes actually, so I hadn't. <laughs> let me let me preface now. I hadn't uh, I hadn't heard of you. I went immediately to work once I got approached by you guys, and I asked around the locker room. I was like, does anyone know who TMG is? And at first, I got no's, and then someone like ten minutes later came back and was like tiny meat gang and i was like i have no clue and so we found out and someone actually didn't know who you were uh and their wife loved you and she's upset that i'm not bringing her on uh <laughs> but i i went on a big uh, tirade trying to figure out more about you guys and watching a few of your episodes and exploring instagram well, it was here. nice and uh, i adored every second of uh the the previous one even oh, where yeah. i was being uh temporarily roasted everyone was like oh <laughs> are you really gonna go on and i was like it's all in good fun. It was so <laughs> it was so good. I loved it. Uh, oh yeah, and dude. yeah, it, it was amazing. Um, I of course I have to address the that you were like this is for children, and I will say unfortunately I have no good examples because the last week has just of course been all children. Yeah. Um, but like you mentioned, like oh maybe I didn't go on the right day. Saturday nights most of the time that is like our our fame night where we we put our lineup. All six nights are like the top dogs. Okay. Because it, a lot of time it's like uh sororities or like like big groups of like college students like stuff like that or people that are going absolutely nuts and it's like all adults and it's it's really fun that's when i turn up the the sex appeal a little bit most of the time but most, like so you have a dial rego has a dial oh yeah there's a dial. like the last like 10 shows has just been like all smiles like let's go let's go and like shaking hands with the kids in the front but, row okay so on saturday but how would I, you say that same thing on saturday night would you be like let's go <laughs> it's it's all in the, it's all in the look you get a blue steel and i can only blue steel to the left so um uh, so you got you got it, it down i yeah i have to choose my side that's where that's side. that's where you win the that's where you wear your your sleeveless armor <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned you mentioned like magic mike and stuff and it's amazing because i actually i was approached uh like a week or so ago uh, or a few weeks ago by um, someone repping for HBO Max's season two of Finding Magic Mike. <laughs> Let's go. And they were like, they were like, Let's yeah, go. we need you on this show. Uh, and I was like, OK, I'll audition. And I haven't heard anything back yet, but uh, I went through a few callbacks. HBO, uh, but, sign but, this man. Sign this man. <laughs> do you know how many part... tickets he's selling every Saturday night? <laughs> and he could do I the was... same thing. He could come out in armor. Yeah. <laughs> like a full oh, yeah. fucking night. Outfit. And then it'll just fucking <laughs> with this. Yeah. Drop. Anyway, exactly. sorry. Go ahead, man. No, the best part was like that. My first response is like, they're much better looking, much more uh, in shape people who can actually dance. Um, because that was what I couldn't get in college theater was my triple thought of dancing. Got it. And uh, I was like, "There's no way I could do it." And she's like, "None of them can swing a sword, though." And I was like, all right, all right, "Okay, you want me over?" <laughs> wow. <laughs> that wow. quickly. I will say it's unbelievably easy right now. We are so short-handed. I cannot stress how short-handed we are. Wow. Um, you mentioned like when we ride we like slow down before hits and we crumple as we get hit and yeah. stuff and you you showed the coworker who knew you who you were was your the green knight that you kept <laughs> roasting <laughs> um, and it was oh, the best no. thing in the world he was losing his mind because we've been giving him this shit for a while like oh, oh he dude, doesn't try no not <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, his name what's his name uh jake jake shouting you out jake uh, you're, you're now on the podcast jake Enjoy. you're you give you are America. You give exactly <laughs> the bare minimum. When someone is not respected as an employee by way of wages, you give exactly what is to be given. So shout out to you, man. When Rigo leaves, now this is your chance. This is why you need to turn up because this is where you might get a speaking role. So get out of your head, bro. Start practicing those lines. T tap into your inner misogyny and get ready to take over that role, man. <laughs> Rigo's clearing the runway for you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, I'm I'm loving it because literally we were giving him all this stuff. We were like, oh, you look like an NPC out there. He's got the like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the as he's riding by. He doesn't like, try. What the? <laughs> <laughs> he tries so hard. He swears. What is I what is with him? What what's he like? Like, is he the same oh. age as you? Uh, he's actually older. So he worked in Texas when he was a young lad, um, trying to become a knight. He left it, became like a game developer for a bit, uh, working in IT, actually. Uh, and then just recently went, you know what? I'm not happy just working in a cubicle all day. Uh, so he he came to the California castle because uh, we have you know castles everywhere. And he came here and we hired him and made him a night pretty quickly because he knew what he was doing. Um, so he's like 32. Wow. Um, 
he he looks really young. He looks handsome, beautiful man. I wouldn't say that. No, I'm playing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, considering everyone in your group was like, oh yeah, he's he's handsome, which boosts his ego a lot, by the way. Oh um, yeah, no, no. Every everyone in our group was, you know, he he, he turned a gay man gay. He turned uh, straight women straight. He was he was hitting all the marks. Uh, he uh, his his wife is very thankful for you. Uh, hell yeah. Ego. Um, or girlfriend. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, Whatever. Jake, especially the part where you, you're like, he goes back and he just cracks open a cold one and just downs it. <laughs> Does he do we that? Were, uh, he he wishes he could. Um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You still work for medieval times, so that's what. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we can't. Can't. Yeah. Do you guys whisper like funny shit to each other? Like oh, you know, like oh, football yeah. it's, players it's do. That way. Yeah. It's that way for us too. You're like, oh yeah, it's it's a little BDSM. Like, what do you think it's like for us, man? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Goddamn. No, uh, I watch. I'm gonna get fired tomorrow. Uh, so here's your resignation. We'll hire you, dude. We'll yeah, hire yeah. you. As you can be our. You can be our night. <laughs> Yeah, man. I'd hope this this is like I just want to say first of all anyone who's watching for me I don't know what to say being here I'm panicking but uh and of, of course when I received this I was just I was nervous terrified confused didn't know who you were and slightly aroused as most messages DMs I get nowadays <laughs> hey, uh, well, is, this, is this the shit you tell moms as what are you gonna say I just I you know go ahead go ahead I have, gonna, I have a bigger question after this that I want to ask you. I was gonna say you, like I'm laughing because uh I I see, this is just who you are. You can't help being a knight, bro. Like you just got that knight, you know, aura. You know, yeah, that just that regal, charm. That's just that rego charm. Energy. Yeah, he's just coming out here being like, ah, oh, you know, I was slightly aroused as one is when getting invited to a podcast. <laughs> Most people aren't, but you know, you just got that natural like. And I feel like this is a good segue. I feel like we're kind of beating around the bush here. We talked about it a little bit last week. Yeah. Oh, but oh, I know, know exactly what you're going. Yeah. Does yeah. he fuck? Do you fuck? <laughs> not in general. No, not in general. No, I mean, not no, in general. You so, don't have to tell me about your sex life. I'm just saying from medieval no, I times. I would love to, but uh <laughs> no, I there's none. Um so uh, I I mean I'm a I'm a fucking nerd. Uh, can we talk about that? Yeah. Uh, so please. like I've I've been I was single for like five years and I, like I'm talking to someone now, but uh, I I literally had one girlfriend like in my life and so like I just <laughs> I just chill man. I work to myself. I, I pick up as many hobbies as I can. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna say something else? Just pick up as many uh, hobbies as I can. Yeah yeah yeah. You I know pick I just... up as many hobbies as I can. Uh, <laughs> Well, I I just like when like on a Saturday night, you know, and also you you play it up on TikTok, right? Yeah. Like you play oh, yeah. up. The... Like I I love that you you were going crazy, and that's why I wasn't like offended or anything. It was super funny because like that's like you know it's a small part of me, but that's like that's just me messing around. Everything's just like we're behind the camera and everything, or we're acting serious, just giggling it up. Uh, it. My buddy's always there behind the camera. I'm gonna say we're a little disappointed. Yeah, I mean, I thought you know, I thought you were just gonna come in here and be like, yeah. Yeah, I do fuck. Saturday night yeah. oh, goes I mean, if off. If you want to keep up, like, if you want to turn off Rigo and turn up Black and White Night, just be like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, girl, I fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were waiting for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> That's uh that's <laughs> indeed. Now now what's going to happen is when you go back to work there's going to be like one feral TMG listener <laughs> that gets front row for your section that just has your face printed on a shirt and it's like I'll be your next girlfriend. I need you. Rigo. Oh god. Turn me into no. a leather jacket. I love you. You're, you're scary. You're, you're, I mean, you're not far off of like a few. I mean, the thing is, you know, you don't want to like start calling out people and naming names, but like some of the DMs and stuff I get are, are over mundane posts are absolutely amazing. Like I'll post like some like literal leather wraps was a big one I, I had on my hands. And there was like in a row, it was like, choke me. Next person, punch me in the face. Next person, tie me up with those. Like, like just, just boom. You know, boom. You, you know what you're doing. Classic medieval things. I, I just work at a leather shop and I make stuff. Okay? Don't act, like, don't act coy. <laughs> don't, don't act, act fucking coy. coy. You post the leather around your, strapping it around your hand. Yeah. Oh, it's just some leather wraps. I'm just posting my leather work. Yeah, yeah. You know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Rigo, we're just you know we're just jealous, man. Because we we could we had to get a spaceship and you know tell all these jokes to get a little bit of attention. Yeah. You just turn on your phone. You're like. I'm gonna wrap my hand in some leather. You get <laughs> That's the worst part. So five thousand. Whip me. Yeah, five thousand. <laughs> oh, I wish I was that hand. 
I wish I was that leather. leather. Oh my god. Oh no, yeah, what's like, happening to me? Emoji in the leather hands. <laughs> Choke me, lower me into the floor. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's hard because there's a learning curve. I, I actually, I've never used TikTok as a consumer. I've never scrolled the For You page once. So I don't know anything. Ever. Ever. I've I've resisted the urge. I I feel like it's a waste of time. So, um, I I don't I don't right. scroll through. Rigo, so, I just uh, have to say you have peak hot person behavior. Yeah. Just like you just. <laughs> I've done it, guys. Yeah, Go. just this peak hot right. person behavior. Like, really? It's fucking. Yeah, man. I don't know. I just I just wrap my hand in some leather. I've never even needed to use TikTok. <laughs> I just walk around. I don't even have to fuck really. I just <laughs> you know this is just crazy because this all started. Is like just a I like irony birthday thing, <laughs> and now we're talking to the man himself, to the star, to the. No, I, I don't. I don't know what I'm uh, like. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just. I'm just. Uh, <laughs> You're you just guys a are night, actually bro. like notable and like. Uh, I remember, uh, you know, obviously numbers were a thing, and I like when I when I got the message, I was like, I don't know what GMG is checking like numbers, and I was like, holy shit, this <laughs> Cody Co guy, what the fuck? It's like this man's actually famous. Um, yeah, dude. But yeah. You're so LA, man. You're Legit. so. You're actually so famous, LA. Man. Can't Everyone's get away from tired of your celebs, shit. Stop dude. being fucking LA. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Okay, okay, okay. Let me ask you this, Rigo. What does it take to become a knight? Like, what if Cody and I wanted to become a knight? What, yeah. oh, what's that could, process? Uh, could we? Uh, you, you could. Are you guys so understaffed that it'd be like just uh, any anyone, please? <laughs> well, even for like a like a, a show bit, like Kevin Hart came one time and we all met him and he did a, a full thing where he went through knighthood. Um, and so you just contact the company and like people yeah. people come like uh, Macaulay Culkin came and did a similar thing. Like people come to Medieval Times and do like we bits, should do uh, that. But did they go out there and fight? Uh, sort of. Uh, Game Grumps did one too. Like a bunch of random people like come and do it. What can you give us a a bit of your script so we could maybe practice it right now? Uh, well, the only person who speaks is the bad guy, and it's. I just thought you misogyny. had a speaking role. Yeah, yeah, the only person who speaks is the bad guy, and it's just misogyny. If you want to, if you just want misogyny, yeah, in your give, program, give, yeah, give your, us a first little, couple. If lines. that's your vibe, um, first couple lines. <laughs> Uh, so first, there's an evil laugh, um, which everyone do can it. take liberties with. Do it. Uh, I'm not because you know. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then it's. And now come the sentiments of he who was once a warrior, but has now grown soft. <laughs> His boy. Next to the banked fire and the cushioned throne. Are you scared? You scared. bandy. Yeah. With a woman over that of which she knows nothing. And then. Keep going. Yeah. That was but fucking. Yeah. Crazy. I'm telling you, you killed it, man. Damn. Woo! Take me HBO. Yeah, yeah you're a shoe in for Magic Mike. <laughs> College yeah, theater. Let's do it. That was great. Yeah, man. Yeah, I just, I just want to say, like, my favorite part of the show, which I this is maybe slightly plugging because I hope they bring it back before I leave, is uh, we used to go up and meet the audience after the show, <laughs> and uh, we. You would want them to bring that back. No. no. <laughs> Oh god, uh, my my intentions are, are pure. Uh, I my favorite part of the show was honestly getting to like to kind of inspire the little kids and like because you see it like it is for them most of the time. Most of the shows are just full of like tiny tiny children and like uh, getting to like because you know I remember I, I came here when I was like seven and I wasn't even that little, but it was everything to me. I thought yeah. this was the coolest thing in the world. Yeah. And getting to like kneel down and have that position of like influence for just a moment and be able to like because I I mean I was a kid I was. I was just bullied incessantly and like something like this would have been unbelievably important for me. This would have like lit a flame that never would have died. Hell yeah. And so I try to like, you know, just say something like, I uh, try to keep the accent up while I'm like trying to think of something important to say. Um, like, like they're always like uh, telling me what they like, like to do. I'm like, what do you, what do you want to do in life and stuff? And I ask them and I try to like, you know, just light a little flame in there and make sure that they go home just thinking about and like leaving the parking lot, like swinging swords Damn. and stuff. And, Damn. Try try to do stuff like that, but you're good, you're I haven't been guy. able to. Yeah, you're a good yeah, guy. That's what we found today. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be you know very different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought we. I do this to fuck college chicks. That's basically it. That's what I thought. Yeah, we but, thought you were uh, gonna come in here like a total chad, and now we're just ending it on. Uh, <laughs> on I want to inspire the kids. I mean, well, well, I can't wait to watch the rest of the episode and watch you guys just like enter a sensory deprivation tank for a bit to, <laughs> to recoup. But um, yeah, if you ever, if you ever want to talk again or you said you need me in the studio to just, just stand and be your night. Um, I'll guard one of you. I mean, I'm in LA. That would Let's be go. pretty funny. That'd be Let's hilarious, go. dude. Well, yeah. Rigo, thank you, man. Thanks. Uh, no problem. Everyone, you know, 
Go go thirst Rigo on TikTok, uh, but he doesn't reply because <laughs> yeah. he's a he's a true knight. If it's, if it's a wild message, like I've gotten, uh, does do my photos make blood flow to your manhood? Um, that was a that was a strong one. Okay, uh, got- hey, don't fucking cosplay the Renaissance shit in his DMs either. That's fucking weird. <laughs> doth my, oh, my image, leash. doth my image release blood into <laughs> your male member? <laughs> don't do that, man. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Rigo. Appreciate right. it, dude. Dude, thank you. Take good it easy, to meet guys. you. Hope your lives are fulfilling. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, brother. <laughs> Hopefully, we talk soon. Yeah. See you. Peace. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us for today's episode. We'll uh, see we're you all in the bone zone. Hop into the bonus. We're gonna get into it. I'm gonna talk about this guy I saw in a Miami club with fucking dinner plate eyes. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get into the into the horny stuff. Yeah. The slutty stuff. And as always, you can see that. On TMGstudios.tv. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, and, gang. Oh, by the way, the eight ball special, the extended version, ninety minutes. That's also on there for yeah. the TMG Studios tier. And then, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess we can. I wanted to promote the fitness thing, but, um, yeah. You should go find out what Cody is talking about on yeah. TMG Studios app. Yeah, we did a uh, Jack Noel did a Q and A about yeah. answering all your uh, fitness questions. So that's on there as well now. So go check it out. And we'll see you in the bonus. This week on the Bone Zone. It's fucking go. awesome. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Jack ha- Harlow, your nuts go. Like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Just enjoying himself. He just came out right now. Yeah. And he's only fucked two dudes. <laughs> we could be next, bro. Watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at TMGstudios.tv. <laughs> 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 <laughs>